Hello, my name's Linda Robson. Welcome to my anti-aging masterclass with Loose Women's Head of Makeup, Donna Clitheroe. So with Linda, we're gonna put some primer on, first of all. Linda's always slightly tanned, <laughs> so she's always got that healthy glow. Do you use primer at home? No, do never. You? Don't no. use anything at home. I do use a little bit of moisturiser moisturizer. overnight. Yeah, um, most of the time, but in general. But not in the morning. You don't put any on in the morning, no. Mm, not really. But after you've no. had a wash, don't you, doesn't your face feel really tight? Mm, the maybe. Water? <laughs> <laughs> you don't care. Oh no, my, my 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 routine is terrible. Absolutely terrible. My body as well. I never use moisturiser on my body, and everyone says you should do. And it's I'm obviously yeah, I don't do my getting body drier practice. and drier. You just want to get dressed. Don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is really important that you get a really good foundation. That's the only thing that I pay money for. Yeah, a decent foundation. foundation. Blushers are fine. You can buy any blusher yeah and um, the cheaper ones or whatever but when your skin's older I like one that's got a little bit of a creamy dewy sort dewy, of look to yeah it. that's what this one does so big tip is spend a little bit more on your foundation that's it. and don't worry so much about blushes and, and do you apply it with a brush at home or with your fingers no fingers yeah I don't even look in the mirror when I'm putting it on <laughs> <laughs> sometimes the kids go have you seen your blusher? <laughs> you look like Coco the Clown. <laughs> yeah. so I'm, I'm putting a primer on your eyelids at the minute, which always helps things stay in place as well. Okay. Um, right, so Linda's eyebrows are already done, but I just give them a, a kind of little little tidy up, really. They're dark enough as they are, but just I just fill in the little gaps at the front. Right, so I've just used some concealer, just in any sort of you know darker areas, just like around Linda's nose and smile lines. Mm, Under her eyes. Them. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah. So with Linda's eyes, she's got slightly hooded eyelids. Slightly hooded, you're being very kind. No, I... Well, I hate these parts of my eyes. Most people do when they're getting on. You know when you get them droopy bits that hang over. And lots of people who've got hooded eyes think that they can't wear eyeshadow because yeah. well, what's the point? You can't see it. But So the trick is you have to kind of create the crease line that isn't now visible. There. Yeah. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so I'm using a fluffy brush, and we're gonna put it over, so you can close your eyes and we're gonna put it over the eyelid, just to put some color on the, the main eyelid, first of all. Holding the hooded bit up, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the scaffolding out, shall we? <laughs> Stop it. Your indentation is here, okay? Like, that's where your socket line is, is okay? It? But if you open where your eyes- Where should it be? <laughs> just a little, about a millimeter higher. Okay, but if you, so when you're doing your own makeup at home, you need to do it with your eyes open, okay? Because you need to be able to see where you're putting the eyeshadow, first of all. Yeah. And you need to create a fake indentation, right? Okay. So you, you look into the mirror and you want to shadow this part just up here. Can the you feel it? The indentation, what you just said, yeah. Yeah. So not in here, just a bit higher. Than there, okay? yeah. So keep that your, keep, open the eyes up? Yeah, keep looking yeah. in the mirror. And basically what it does is it, it it draws you in kind of a fake eyelid, if you know what I mean. Okay. So, when you do it, you, you're keeping your eyes open and you're running it just into that's here. under the bone, there's like yes, a bone just, there. Yes, that's there. it, so under, under that, that bone. bone. Okay. okay. Yeah, and then you can see you've got colour on, because otherwise, if you're just going to keep it onto your eyelid... You can see if I do you're that, not, start you see, look. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then you're not going to see it. Just look up, we take that underneath the outside edges as well. This is where you get a bit watery, isn't it, on the, mm -hmm. the corners there. But we'll just take that underneath as well. Only halfway in, we're not taking it right in because it will close your eyes up. Yeah, we don't want to do that. You can see Linda's face she pulls when I put this on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not, You're to, putting breathe. The mascara I'm trying face. not to breathe on you. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, this is bronzer, first of all. So, this okay. I, I kind of start on the apple of the cheeks and then I take it up. And we kind of, this kind of can go all over your face, really, bronzer. It just bronzes you up. Okay, so if you shade this area, it makes it look more defined and sharper. So I might just grab beard. It's yeah, easier. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then the blusher. I say smile because I think it looks healthy. Is if your apples are pe peachy. Yes. Yeah. Give me peachy apples. Peachy apples. I think it looks fresh and young and. Oh, good. We like fresh and young. Fresh and young. Okay, so we, you always have to kind of pull, put it out to the side of the eye, and then. I normally start at the outside and work halfway in, and then I go on the inside and work to halfway out. And basically, you just got to kind of drag the brush along the, the lashes that are there. That's your guide. I mean, you could just use a black eyeshadow with a fine brush and just make a smudgier look. So Linda's got lashes on already, but we normally just put a tiny bit on the ends, don't we? Yeah. Just to lift those up a little bit. And then we put a tiny bit just on the lower lashes. 
you've got nice lips, as in you haven't got too many lines around your lips or anything. So they're so they're pet up smoking. smoking. <laughs> exactly. See, now she just lives with her little puff, <laughs> puffer. Nicotine <laughs> replacement. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Do you use lip liner at home? No. Oh, well, this does help with any bleeding that might happen, but. But generally, if you've got smaller lips, you kind of keep with a nuder yeah. kind of lip colour. That's how I feel as well. So I'm just going to put a lipstick just to make it make the gloss stick a bit more. So, so a nudie lipstick first. Just just so it just makes the colour more intense, and it will keep it will give the gloss something to stick to. And then we have, we reapply all their lips before they go on the show because you know they're going to go and drink some tea and coffee now and might eat. And something. several times during the show too. Yes, we keep an eye on it. Yeah. Okay, da da! Da da! There she is! All done! As she was saying, <laughs> thank you. Bloody gorgeous. Bloody gorgeous, I am, look. <laughs> thank you.